guys, it's Jess and I'm back here with another video for you. Today I thought I'd go over a couple of things that help me kind of stay sane in this time of uncertainty and especially with a lot of people not being able to go to Disney. I know they're reopening but not all of us are going to be able to go so I wanted to share a couple of things that are helping me. So one of the things that is really important to me is my nails. I can't go to a salon right now. In Michigan here, they're not open. They might be opening on the 15th, which is coming up, but as of right now and for the last couple of months, no hair salons, no nail salons. We've only just started to really open up, which is nice. So what I've been doing instead are color street nails. <laughs> So until I can get back to my regular nail guy and have it feel safe, this is my plan. So these nails, they come kind of like this. They're like glorified stickers. <laughs> so I will link down below the person who I bought these from. They're not that expensive. Um, I want to say $13 is what you pay for a brand new set. And I can usually get two sets of nails out of them. So, and they have all kinds of fun designs. Currently, these ones are a little chipped up. I haven't had a chance to redo them yet, but they usually last me longer than just, just plain nail polish because that chips off on me in like a day. These will last me a good week. So they're just, they are actually nail polish, but they're in sticker form. And for whatever reason, they help my nails kind of have a little bit more stability so they don't break as much and I don't get that chipping. So highly recommend them if you're missing your nail salons or you just don't feel safe or you just don't feel safe going to them right now, which is totally fine. So that's one. The other one is in this. <laughs> so I thought with missing the park so much that having some of the scents in my house might help. This package is from Wishes Candle Company and I ordered two of their candles. I had gotten this one in a Bippity Boppity Boo Box and as you can see I've been burning it pretty regularly. We love this candle. I am planning on, for this video, I'm going to go ahead and light this because you're just starting to see the silver portion in there where that pin that they put in the candles is. So I'm going to light it and for this video we'll take it out and see what that's like. But first, let's open this. So I'm grab my nifty scissors here because I can never open these things. So it came just in, you know. There's a box inside of a mailer. Totally cool. Keeps the box nice. How they got it in here, I don't know. This is really tight. <laughs> but there you have their nice logo and everything. Really, really pretty. So I'll we'll slip the top here. stickers here on the top. I didn't know they sent them with stickers because this is literally the first time I've ever ordered from them. Oh look at the Rapunzel stickers. How cute is that? Let me just kind of lift this up. So that's what I'm seeing as I opened it. So we have that Rapunzel stickers and then this is also a sticker. It says Wishes Candle Company. And then this is a little postcard. It says, thank you. Here's some helpful tips for your order. Do let the hot wax reach both ends of the jar on the first burn. Trim your wick to one fourth of an inch as needed. Follow us on Instagram and tag us in your photos. Put out the flame before carefully removing your prize. Don't burn your candle past one half inch total wax in the jar. Burn your candle for longer than four hours at a time. Caution, 
never leave flame unattended or near children and pets. And then of course they have their Wishes Candle Company page there at the bottom. So, like I said, I only ordered two because it seemed like the right amount. The first one I ordered was Bay Lake. So my thought was I could light this and have it next to my, my bathtub. Oh, and it does kind of smell like Bay Lake. It kind of, I don't know, it has this, I can't remember what it was supposed to be, but it's like a plant and a little bit of a floral. So that's really nice. The other one is, I think it was a Tinkerbell one. Yes, a wonderful thought. I don't remember what, flavor, what smell this was supposed to be either, but I love the color and that you have that glittery green. Oh, this one's very citrusy. Um, it reminds me of ice cream. <laughs> like when you're walking um, down Adventureland and you get to like by the Dole Whips and stuff, that's what it reminds me of. So I think I'm probably gonna burn this one in my kitchen and the birthday cake one, or unbirthday candle has been up here in my office, causing me lots of joy. So I'm gonna go ahead and light that candle and I'll come back in a little bit. We'll take it out and take a look. So see you in a few. All right, I thought while we were waiting for that candle to melt down a little bit, we'd open up one of these and redo my nails. I've gone ahead and removed all my nail polish. So this is how they come. I'll go ahead and open it up. You have a little pack here. There are two of these sheets just back to back. And then there is a little wipe in here that's alcohol based and a little nail file. So you'll see just how quick and easy these things are to put on. They're not perfect, nothing's perfect. So I just trim the end, pull it out. And we have two. This color is called, I believe, Holy Toledo. It's a newer color. So we have those. They do smell like nail polish because they are. So you go ahead and you open up your wipe. And just to make sure you don't have anything on your nail that's gonna be an issue, you wipe off all your nails. It does only come with one wipe, but I'm sure you can get them elsewhere. So you just clean off your nails really good, just like that. My nails are not the best. I do garden, I do <laughs> crafts with my kids and stuff, and so they tend to get a little beat up. Plus I do household stuff. We all do household stuff. <laughs> so, okay, now that I have them all wiped off, I am going to set this sheet just aside because I usually only need one. This one is a little too big for my thumb, so I usually set that one aside for my thumb and then go through. My other biggest nail is that middle one, so I'll set that there. That seems about right. And then that should be correct for that nail. Yep. And then usually go with this one for this last nail. So once I have them all set out, I know the way that I do nails, so I know I'm gonna do my thumb last, otherwise I end up messing it up. So we're gonna start with our pinky. So there's a protective cover on there, so I just peel that off. And then I peel off this other side, just like that and try and line it up as best I can. I'm not always perfect at this. So, takes me a minute, right there. Oh, that little part came off. 
and then I press it down just like that. And then I take my scissors and I'll just trim it right there. And then make sure that little extra bit there is off. And then I take this and just put it right on the snail. Sorry, I've got that little sticky bit just stuck to me. It's helpful usually when you're doing this to have like something you can stick those little stickies onto just so they don't get on things you don't want them to. So at this point, I usually just push them down a little bit like this. And we'll come back and clean up the edges a little bit here in just a moment. Right now I'm just concerned about that tip and making sure I do a good job. The reason I do my thumb last is because I tend to use my thumb to kind of push it into any creases or anything like that to make sure I have a good fit. So now that I have that, I'll take this little file that came with it. We'll open it up. And whoops, it stuck to me. And we'll just take it and we'll kind of file just like that, just a little tiny bit. Doesn't really take much. And all you're doing is really cutting that nail polish right there. And then you can lift away any excess, just like this and you have the end of your nail. So I'll do the same with the other side. Now I will be the first to tell you that I'm not perfect at this. I haven't been doing it very long, but I've found it's good enough for me for the time being. Would I prefer going to the nail salon? Yeah, probably. But until I can get there, this works. So, all right, we're gonna go with our next one. Okay, first I'm gonna get all these little bits that are stuck to my fingers off. There we go. This one's two. <laughs> off again and right there if you didn't get it quite right as long as you haven't completely pushed it down you can just lift them back up like I did there and again I'm just gonna these are just regular craft scissors I'm coming in with and taking that off take off this little bit so it's nice shape and pressing it down on the other side. It looks like I did get just a small bit of the nail actually on there. So hold on. hopefully this will be good. Oh, I did rip it a little bit. So okay, this one I just messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel that right back off. No big deal. We will come back to that one out. Well, actually, here, hold on. Let's see if this one will fit. I think that one will fit. So instead, I'm just taking one of the extra ones that I'd set aside here and I'll get that other nail. I think this is why they only tell you you can do one is because if you mess up, <laughs> you're still good. It's harder for me to do this hand just because I am right-handed. So I think people with lots of practice have no issue, but for me, a <laughs> little bit. <laughs> so.
All right, I've finished all my nails here and just kind of cleaned them up a little. So they're not perfect, but they're pretty good and they stay longer and they look nice. So that is the nails. This is the business card of the person that I've been using. There is her information there for you and I will link her down below. So now here's our wishes candle. It's been going for a little while. You can see that little styrofoam packet on the side and I have, they recommend removing it with tweezers. So I have a pair of tweezers here and we're gonna blow it out and pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like. is a lot bigger than I thought so I am using my fingers now so there it is open that up there is the pen so I think I'm gonna let it kind of solidify again a little bit I'm gonna try and dump any little drips of wax back in there. But let me go get a paper towel to wipe it off with. All right, I actually just grabbed a washcloth to wipe it off with. This is not a good washcloth, so it's fine. So we use it for like dusting and such. So it kind of wiped off the wax there. I'm pretty sure that these are scrapper pens that they put in here. So. It wouldn't make sense to me to put an authentic pen. And you can tell from the back here with this ridge here, this is definitely a scrapper. It's a good use of the scrappers though. There is a big divot there. <laughs> so, but it's kind of a fun surprise inside the candles. I don't know if I did that when I was trying to pull it out with the tweezers or if it was like that before, but that kind of gives you an idea of the pens they put in these. So anyhow, that's all for today and I'll see you guys next time.